Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the basic understanding of Poisson distribution. In our previous classes, we discussed about binomial distribution uh, data analysis example. The same example we are going to use here in uh, un understanding Poisson distribution. This class, we are going to deal with uh, when we need to apply Poisson distribution. That is the point you will get idea in this class. In our next, next class, Two classes you will get the complete idea about a Poisson distribution so please watch our previous class and come back here the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class so in our last class example so the data given like this posting a video in YouTube so you posted a video after 30 days means 30 days before you posted a video after 30 days you have seen the data like this 300 views and 60 likes in 30 days so this is the data given in your data uh, in your uh, last class example and they are going to ask you the question probability of x is equal to 4 means uh, that is equal to probability of getting 4 likes in one day means tomorrow means uh, in one day what is the chance that you are going to get uh, 4 likes that is the question they have asked you in our last class. Uh, so we converted this question into different uh, values we we identified the n value we identified the p value and we identified uh, x value is already given x is equal to 4 here if n value p value x value is given you can apply binomial distribution yes this is what we have done in our last class uh, so point to understand for binomial distribution we need n value p value x value so how we identified the n value so 300 views in 30 days so n is equal to 300 by 30 that is equal to 10 views per day so why we are doing it in 10 views per day because the question they are trying to ask is a probability of getting four likes tomorrow tomorrow means one day that's why 300 by 30 in one day what is the average views we are getting that is what we are identifying if 10 views happened in the next day what is the if probability of clicking uh, like button is 0 0.2 probability is given by 60 60 likes in 300 views that's why we got probability is 60 by 300 that is equal to 0 0.2 probability someone like your video is 0 0.2 20 percent chance that they are you are going they are going to like your video so if n value is given p value is given we are applying binomial distribution and we identified the probability of x equal to 4 this is what we have done in our last class coming to the point this is the point you have to understand so from the data it was given that 60 likes in 30 days if you convert this 60 by 30 that is equal to 2 likes per day 2 likes per day likes per day is given as 2 if someone has given you data I am getting 2 likes per day that is what they have mentioned they didn't mention about n value they didn't mention about p value this is the case which most of the situations happens in real time because suppose if you ask a doctor how many patients you will deal uh, how many heart patients you are going to deal in one day what he says Every day I will get uh, 40 uh, customers uh, in that uh, we are having uh, two heart patients like that he will deal with. No, he simply says that uh, on an average I will get two heart patients per day. In most of the real time situations, uh, N value, P value is not available. Suppose if someone asks you to count uh, number of bikes that are going in one minute uh, on the highway what you say you keeps on counting the bikes and on an average you say that uh, okay 10 bikes are going in one minute so most of the times n value p value is not given by real time data in that situations what we have to do that is what Poisson distribution is uh, let's try to understand when we are going to apply Poisson distribution uh, see if someone has given you likes per day on an average I am getting two likes per day I don't care about how many views I got and uh, every day I just check the video my likes are increasing uh, on an average I had an idea about uh, on an average I am going to get two likes per day that is the information I have provided and I am trying to ask you given this, see, this likes per day two likes per day this we call it as this is called rate value 
so likes per day liters per day bikes per minute how many bikes that are going in one minute all this comes under we call it as rate value if someone has provided you the rate value and they have asked you the probability that you are going to have four likes in our next day they have given on an average you are getting two likes per day what is the probability you are going to get four likes in our next day without having n value without having p value you can identify this probability value using Poisson distribution so we are going to apply Poisson distribution when we are going to apply Poisson distribution if n value is not there in p value is not there someone has given you the rate value likes per day liters per day bikes per minute this we call it as rate value this we consider it as rate comes with so this we consider it as lambda lambda means rate has been given then we are going to apply Poisson distribution so in the mathematical sense we need to understand one more concept also rate is equal to lambda is equal to NP see in our example in our example n is given that 10 views per day and p is given that 0.2 NP is 10 multiplied by 0.2 that is 2 likes per day so indirectly when they have given you the rate value means what we have to understand multiplication of n value and p value we are getting it as rate value that is the point you have to understand if someone says you 10 bikes i am uh, 10 bikes are coming in one day indirectly they have provided you the, the data n multiplied by p so that's why you got that lambda is equal to np that is 10 multiplied by 0.2 that is equal to 2 likes per day this data 10 n is equal to 10 p is equal to 0.2 come from our previous data n is equal to 10 p is equal to 0.2 n multiplied by 2 uh, n multiplied by p that is 10 multiplied by 0.2 which we call it as a 2 likes per day we got this information rate value so that is the point you have to understand if someone has given you but you don't know the n value and p value multiplication of both the values you got it as lambda if someone has provided you the lambda value means rate value you can apply Poisson distribution so given lambda that is rate and asking probability of x is equal to 4 probability of getting 4 likes in a day now we go to Poisson distribution probability mass function for Poisson distribution is e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial when you substitute e power lambda is 2 e power minus 2 2 power 4 x is 4 4 likes per day divided by 4 factorial you got the value 0 0.0902 the same data you applied in our last class example with n value and p value in binomial distribution so when you substitute n value p value in binomial distribution and probability of x is equal to 4 which we got it as 0 0.08808 it approximately near to the Poisson distribution value that's why we say it as a Poisson distribution is an approximation to binomial distribution we didn't get exactly the same but almost all near to the same probability values you will get so Poisson distribution is an approximation to binomial distribution when we are going to apply binomial when we are going to apply Poisson distribution if someone has given you the n value and p value go with binomial if they have most of the time they are going to give you the rate value means lambda value then go with Poisson distribution both are giving you the same approximately same probability values and one more important point you have to understand we don't know the n value and p value so we are assuming that n is almost near to infinite and p is almost near to zero value and in our coming classes we are going to understand why we assume that n is almost near to infinite value and why p is almost near to zero value and how we got this probability mass function assuming that n is equal to infinite and p is almost near to approximately near to zero we got this uh, probability mass function how we got this these points you are going to understand in our coming classes this class we concentrated on when we need to apply Poisson distribution 
होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज पोस्ट योर क्वेश्चन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकॉन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स थैंक यू